Hi guys, I'm actually making an art journal prompt. The lady that's running it got her own channel and she's doing it and you can hashtag yourself into it. Go over and join her. Um, I shall leave a link in the description. I'm gonna hashtag to it. If you go on over to Kari Gibson Art, she is doing an art journal prompt for week 16. But you can join in any of the others as well because you can hashtag yourself into them. Now this week's one is, she randomly picks the items that you have to use for the page. I haven't got an art journal as such. I've got a big painting sort of journal, but I haven't, I've got a scrapbook that I've turned into an art journal. So what I've done is I've cut a page out and I'll explain that in a minute. Right, so what she's done is she picks things. She rolls the dice and picks whatever comes up. So the first thing she picked out of five was that you have to use the colour gold. But it doesn't have to be metallic gold. It can be any shades of sort of gold. Um, and you can use black and white if required. Also, the secondary colour is brown. So we've got brown and gold is the sort of theme of it right and um, for the quote you have to put on it you have to put home is any four walls that enclose the right person so we just te do the text of that onto our page the focal point will be based on plants and flowers a plant or a flower and then the use will be a stamp. You can do either use a rubber stamp or postage stamp. Yeah, it sounds like fun. Cut out this piece of paper, which I'm going to use like my board, if you know what I mean. I've got a mound over here of jelly print roll offs and bits and pieces and scrap papers and all different types of bits and pieces so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and build up a nice background first and then um we'll see how, how it comes together i could put some of that up in there and um she's doing vintage theme as well i think let's get that on that would look better there that's much better and that one in there. I'm going to start gluing this down. Yeah, I don't know what I'm quite doing with it, but um, we will do something. We'll cut that in a minute. Because we've got to do it to this page, you know. Right, let's get some glue on this one. When I watched the video, I thought, oh, that sounds interesting. I'm gonna, gonna give that a go. Looks good, fun. But I just didn't have the time a couple of days ago. Up there. Yeah, move that out a little bit. Right. Okay. That's that, like that. So you can see the effects in that background. I just want to go through my papers a minute. And this one I really like, but it's uh, it is brown, but it looks orangey. But it is really nice. It's a stenciled flower. Just tear it out. Just round and round there. We can actually go over on that edge bit if we need. Let's cut it. It will need a little, no it's okay, it's fine actually. Actually, I can ink. So we've done that part there. I think I'll have another part of that up here, running across the top of the page. Right, there we go. Let's bung that down and off. Um, I've got this. This came out of a set that um, Martha kindly gifted to me. 
and I don't know, hang on, shall I put it there? I could pull it actually that way around, it does not matter. Mm, I would have preferred it down here, but then I've got, I want to put something in this side. Um, how about how, over here, like that? And then I can cut off the axis. Um, near here somewhere. No. Mm. I don't know, to be honest. Up here, I do. Just so. Uh, what's that? Like that. Um, I thought I'd put in some washi tape. Yeah, I did. So I've also bought in some brown and gold and white washi tape. Um, that is the only brown washi tape that I had. And I'm actually using some of the washi tape up, you know. There we go. This um, Stamperia Squirrel and I've got this little piece of card that I thought I could write the quote on. So, I've got this garden urn and there's a large flower. And maybe something, I was thinking maybe something like that with him on top. If I take that up a bit, he can go up like that and sit on me. Yeah. Get some leaves in. Or oh, I could paint some leaves in. No, I like that, like that. But I was going to have this big butterfly in. But maybe we could just use that one. rulers butterfly i want to get my thing out without everything falling down there it is my ink my trusted ink gold friend i've got the um thing in for it so i'm going with the gold heavy on that one And we're going to have that going that way. And then that is going to go on there. Right. Okay. Let's just... I don't want to hide that flower, you see. Right. So get your mat out again. Give it a press down. Leave it there for a second. Now, I want you to put some of this ruler on um but it's gonna have to be cut to peel off right take this off right that's it that's done so all we've got now is this get some oxide ink one of the ink just around them edges on this and then i've got to write the right guys we're back I've just wrote this out and I've stuck that down I've stuck a little tiny piece of paper there I've done it with some of these um, Faber Castell pit pens they're the artist pens um, that's all I've done with it my writing's terrible I found my um ground espresso it's not early espresso i wanted something to go around dark around the edges so i'm gonna do that now we are absolutely nearly done so i just want to put some of this on because it's darker than the vintage photo just to give it that more sort of vintage type of feel now the last thing I want to do is I've got some Nuva drops here. I've got black, I've got D, 
dirty bronze, which is a brown. It's not metallic -y type. I've got this um, glitter one, which is Harvest Moon, which is a lighter brown. I've got gold. I've got mustard gold. And I've got white. So I want to add a little bit of those in there. I should take a picture after. But we are finished now. So, um, yeah. I've enjoyed doing that, actually. And I did actually find some time to do that. Um, I was worried that I didn't have enough time to do it. But I think it's come out nice, actually. I like it. Lots of different textures at the back. Because we've got jelly prints. We've got inked pages bits of pages we've got um bubbles from the jelly print we've got um these stenciled inked um what die cut waste yeah that's the word i'm looking for and then we've got nouveau drops we've got a, a multitude of different things but yeah it's been fun playing so over to a channel have a look Hope you had fun watching this, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. You all take care now, all right? Bye.